So welcome back to Cubase from Scratch. And in this video, we're gonna split the audio coming out of Groove Agent, which right now just has the single stereo output. We're gonna activate more outputs and we're gonna put the kick and the snare on its own mixer channel so that we can mix them separately. And so you can see right now, we just have one drums, uh, one uh, drums channel coming from the audio. We go to the mix console here, you can see I have a snare and a kick in MIDI, but it's really strange to hard to explain um, when you're first learning. But you don't mix the audio of the VST in the MIDI track. The MIDI tr MIDI volume is kind of like the velocity, and it's not even reacting to velocity right now. So we don't even really care about um, the the kick and the snare in MIDI track, and that's why in my um, mixing console I've already turned those off I'm gonna hit F3 again so you can see this in the mixing console but I've already turned off the kick and the snare MIDI track in the console really we're just the only reason we're hearing this is because the drums and let me show you where this is routed the drums is going to the stereo out okay we're in, in later video we're gonna get into um, group tracks and sub routing um, but for now uh, we just have one stereo output coming out of the groove agent and all of these 16 sounds are mixed out to that same that single stereo output so I want to show how do we get how do we get kick and snare on two separate mixer channels so this is the way you do it first thing you're gonna do is come up to the corner up here and do activate outputs and you can see right now we just have drums master stereo and then we have out two, and there's actually 16 separate outputs. So for right now, you may, you may, you know, if you have 16 different sounds going in your drum track, great, activate all outputs. But for now, I'm just have two, so I'm just gonna activate the second output here. So you can see output two is now activated. Now that's great, but how do I get the snare sound coming out of the second channel? So if I press play right now, you'll see it's all still coming out of the drum track. Now this snare is the one that is uh, that I've selected here on my track. This, this is E1. You can see there's the note. And what I want to do is I'm going to, I think it's in mixer um, for this instrument. And I think what I want to do is um, somewhere in here. It's got to be in. The, it's got to be in the agent here. That's the output channel right there. So you can see um, for this guy, I want that to go to out two. I'm not sure what these separate things are here, but let's see if that was it. We go back to the um, the bar three. Just click here for to go to that locator. Okay. Now you'll see I, if I mute the drums, looks like I got the kick is actually going out um, on out two. And actually, this is weird. Okay. This is this explains it now. So what I want to do here is send this to output two and this to the um, master. Now what's weird is why am I still hearing? Okay, so this explains it. All right, so <coughs> because this VST has some built-in effects. Let's see. I'm not sure where those are, but we'll we'll have to find it. Um, what you're hearing is the um, I have I have successfully routed the snare the snare drum to this output, so I can call this snare now. And you can see on my mixing console, I have a snare and the snare is coming out of the right track on the mixer. Now, if I click back here to the 
kick drum that we're seeing, you can see it light up here even though it's muted. I have this routed to the master. You can change the name of um, this master. We'll call it kick now. Okay. Now what you're hearing, why the reason why you're still hearing some of that snare on here is because there's effects inside of the VST as well. In order to find those effects, we have to go, I'm going to grab this snare, I'm going to go edit, and we're going to go through here, and we're going to try to find we're going to try to find the effects. It's not a MIDI effect. Maybe it's in the mixer. See, I'm looking here. There's reverb, and the reverb is going uh, out to the, the main mix. So I'm going to put none. Okay. And I'm going to put none for these as well because we're going to use effects in Cubase, not in the VST. We just want dry, nice dry instruments in our original channel here. Okay. I'm still hearing a tiny little bit of amount of snare. I'm not entirely sure why. pretty good that's good enough for now um, let's go back to the main we can see this one says bus one this one says bus two okay so now here's it here we just figured out a quick way of routing so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set up I don't really like these hi-hat sounds we're gonna go find new hi-hat sounds later but for now you can see this is coming out bus three Let's activate the third output. Okay, and you can see every time, um, every time you mess with a sound um, or load a new sound, it's gonna spike on your CPU meter. You can see that little red dot. I'm just gonna wherever those red dots um, appear on your CPU and your um, main project. Um, you get spikes every now and then, so it's good to look for that and just just click on it, and it'll it'll. Um, I just double click, but um, just just uh, double click or just single click on that on those red dots, and also on the mixer as well. You see, um, you'll see like stereo out. Well, it'll turn red up here, and you can you can uh, reset that. Okay, so let's let's see where we're at now. Is um, we've got. A kick drum and a snare drum and the snare drums muted if I turn that back on now you can see um, we can solo the kick we just get the kick we can solo the snare we just get the snare and I'm gonna come in here and keep my same color scheme going and I'm gonna save that okay and now we're setting ourselves up for doing a better job of uh, getting our mix going and you can, t you can see that you can fade in the snare now using the cubase mixing 